Hello everybody, I am Brett, and um, I could use some help with this game. I just got it, I love it, because it's so realistic, oh, little tumble there, um, because it's so realistic, I actually got the demo like a year ago, and I didn't even know that there was an arcade physics, so I was like, wow, this is stupid, and then... I think a friend was playing it, and I was like, whoa, that's sweet, how did you do that? And he told me there were good physics, not arcade physics. <laughs> so now that I'm trying those out, it is awesome. And um, I need some tips, because I watch YouTube videos and all that from guys that are crazy. And I want to be that fast. Kind of like real life. I want to be that fast. <laughs> um, I'm pretty decent, as you can see, at the easy tracks. I pretty much got everything down. I don't use the back brake. I don't know if that's really bad. Here, this is what happens if I use the back brake. Uh, so I stick to the front brake. And I'm going to show you a lap of Supercross. Because that is where my skills really die. Alright. Supercross time. Let's go to Houston, where I'm going to go Saturday. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, paused. Okay. Here we go. And I just learned about the seat dab button. I think it helps. I'm not sure. Um, whoa. Whoa. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. That was probably the best I've ever nailed a section. Um, problem number one. If I ever do a section right, I can never break in time for the turn. I can never get the braking down. Um, I case a lot of things, but, yeah, that turning is a big issue. People on videos just break so fast and lean so deep, like, no problem, they never tip over, and I endo on jumps a ton. Not on this track very much, I guess that's because the jumps are built good? I don't know. Um... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm not playing in first person, because I don't like it that much. Um, damn. Oh yeah. Also, the fast dudes, they always seem to be like, during, like, while they're turning, they'll go off a jump, and you know, they'll just whip it like it's nothing. If I go into a turn a little bit crooked, I mean go off of a jump a little bit crooked. Like right there. Oh! Whoa! I landed it, never mind. Well, that was the first time that happened, but usually I'll just crash really bad. So I don't know how to fix those, you know. I'm actually doing pretty decent here. That was the first time I ever completed the track. Only crashing like twice. But now we're back to the crashy ways where I need to be tutored on how to go really fast. Case. Endo. Fall. God, how do you break so fast for that turn? I don't know how to do it. I want to be fast. That's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, another big question. Oh, am I going backwards? Oh yeah, I think I am. But another big question is leaning. Like, do I lean back when I'm going off of a jump so I don't endo, or do I lean forward?
cord so the suspension doesn't preload or what? I got my bike set up. Don't know if any of these are really important. Stability at 25, that's pretty good, I think. Um, I don't know if this is all good. Dab speed. I don't know what any of this is. Um, I think that's all just the average stuff. And, yeah. I don't know if it, this is important. But that's about it. I hope you guys can help me out. And I'll see you later.